Enamel pins to your door, what's inside the new Zanini pack? What is inside? Well, let me first also tell you, if you are new to the world of Zanini, what exactly is that? Well, every single month, they deliver to you a selection of enamel pins. And uh, we're going to go ahead and get this opened up. Astute viewers might already see that I have opened this up. I started cutting and then realized I never even hit the record button on the camcorder. I should have had a V8. But still, I can tell you the contents are still fully undisclosed would that be disclosed undisclosed undisclosed i have no idea actually what's inside i like the element of surprise myself i like to be able to sneak up to somebody tap them on the shoulder and then sneak around to the other side although i don't really like somebody sneaking up on me i don't like to be surprised like that but i know most definitely when it comes to opening these up on camera even things like this the big reveal card i'll put face down no, 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 you don't have to talk me out of it. I'm going to put that face down so that I don't know what's inside the bag. I'm going to reach in and I'm going to pull out one pin at a time. I'm going to discover, and hopefully through this video, you guys will also discover along with me. We can all kind of discover together. We're like a discovering team. I'm going to go ahead and grab the first one. What's going on with you today? I ask myself that same question every single day. What's going on with you? What the first one is that we're going to be having a look at is Mighty Mouse. I don't know if they have known this. They probably didn't have, they weren't aware of this unless they probed my mind while I was asleep. Minnie Mouse, Mighty Mouse was actually one of my favorite cartoons growing up. Here he comes to save the day. Na, 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 na. Cause Mighty Mouse is here today. I don't even remember most of the song, but I know it was one of my all time favorite. I used to even make Mighty Mouse out of plasticine. These little Mighty Mouse, nobody cares. I, producers are even telling me, they're just like, Nobody cares. Anyways, I care. I love Mighty Mouse. So to get a Mighty Mouse pin from the folks over at Zanini Box, that is right up my alley. I could put, uh, by the way, any one of these enamel pins, you could put on things like knapsacks. You could put them on, I guess, lampshades. You could even put them on a 1988 blue denim jacket that has worn away elbows. I'm just randomly throwing it out there. I'm not just implying that I actually happen to have said outfit in my attire that I still hold dear to this day. Moving along www.zaninibox.com. That's where you guys can go to, by the way. I'll put that link linkage down below uh, if you guys are interested in clicking on that, subscribing to Zanini Box. But uh, a good way to start, Mighty Mouse. Here he comes to save the day. I wish I could remember the rest of that. The next one we have is Pennywise the Clown, a precursor to the Chapter 2 uh, It that's going to be coming out in theaters very, very soon. Looking forward to that. A very creepy looking clown. I'm also not about clowns. While I like Mighty Mouse, I don't like clowns. I like clowns, but I don't like being around clowns. Almost as much as I don't like being snuck up on. Imagine if I was being snuck up on by a very scary clown. Okay, I just got to stop talking about that right now. I got to really stop talking about that right now. A neat looking pin. And as you can also see too, it's a different shape from the Mighty Mouse. They are very unique shapes to one another. Loving these pins though. I love also that they give you like a card, uh, like a little accompanying card. You don't necessarily have to put it on your 1988 denim jacket with worn away elbows. You don't have to do that. You could either just, dis you could kind of just even display them like this, prop them up on a shelf, put them up right by your desk, for example, or even just thumbtack those bad boys onto a tack board. I guess it would sort of defeat the purpose, the fact that these are pins and you're pinning up the backdrop onto a backboard, but... Far be it for me to judge you. Far be it for you to judge me with my 1988 denim jacket with the worn away elbows. What's he going on about? Next one we have is Duke. Duke. Sergeant, codenamed Duke. Uh, one of my, <laughs> again, <laughs> I mean, I, I'm not going to bore you guys. Far be it for me. Because I know these videos can certainly get out of hand. And I've watched enough videos on my own to know that videos can get out of hand when somebody reminiscence, 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 reminiscize about their past. I'm not going to certainly do that and bog this video down. But I can tell you, I love G.I. Joe growing up. Some of the original five-part miniseries, The Mass Device, perhaps, The Pyramid of Darkness, The Weather Dominator, love it. I also love Duke. Duke was captured by Cobra, and he had to fight that giant behemoth uh, warrior in that pit. Yeah, that's some good times. G.I. Joe Duke. 
My all-time favorite Joe was Flint. I don't suspect I would find Flint in here, even though I've obviously already gotten a G.I. Joe. I can't imagine we're getting a second one. Reaching further into the bag of obscurity, the next one we have is Hitman. And I could easily attach a store to every one of these pins, and far be it for me to do that, because that would turn into a 35-minute video. Probably will turn around to being 35 minutes anyways. But Hitman was on TV just not too long ago. Timothy, Timothy, Elephant, Elephant. Here I am throwing... You know, I'm... I'm kind of iffy when I subtly mentioned the name as opposed to saying it with confidence. He was the same individual that was also in Die Hard. I really didn't get into the original Hitman. I think there was also a sequel as well. The pin is pretty cool. The movie, meh, meh. Although that girl that was in that. Anyways, that, uh, that Hitman movie was just, it was just okay. A nice looking pin, though, to say the least. And once again, the website down below, www.zaninibox.com. I think we have one more pin. Let's have a look here. Hello? Hello? Yes, we do have one pin in there. Could you imagine if the envelope had said, hello? What's going on with you today? Anyways, the last one that we're going to be getting is Joaquin Phoenix's Joker. This is for the upcoming movie Joker film, and uh, certainly excited to see that one. Interested to see his take. Of course, the last time we've got a live screen uh, version of Joker was the poorly received Jared Leto. I think he was a good Joker, probably just didn't get the right acting material. I don't think he was given the right writing. The look of him was eh, debatable as well, but I think he really, if he had had some more screen time, talking about other things, the Joaquin Phoenix version of uh, Joker, I'm very much looking forward to. Part of me kind of would have hoped this could have been part of the Snyder verse. Here goes someone uh, preaching the whole Snyder verse. I'm all about the Snyder verse. Wish this Joker had been in there. And uh, you never know, maybe like Jared Leto could have easily been like a Jason Todd that had been mentally manipulated, brainwashed, if you will, and he grew up and became the replacement Joker while this guy was the OG. That's a good possibility. That's never going to happen. Lone tier. Uh, a nice looking Joker pin, I must say. And we got a total of five pins. Now that we've done that, now that no surprises any further can be happening, we're going to have a look at the actual plan breakdown. If you got yourself plan one, the plan one would consist of Pennywise, Mighty Mouse, and Hitman. Plan two would give you all of that plus Joker. Plan three would have given you all of that plus Duke. So it depends on whatever subscription meets your fancy. Perhaps you'd like to get yourself five pins every single month. That sounds like a good idea. You could easily then get three. As easily as that, you can also get four. It's entirely up to you. You can also follow Zanini Box over on places like Facebook. You can follow them over on Instagram. And also their website, once again, is www.zaninibox.com. Today we were having a look at the September, which is actually coming up. Uh, we're still in the the meat of August back to school will be happening so much so much quicker than we think it's going to be before you know it you're going to blink and miserable kids are going to be walking down the aisles of Staples Business Depot used to work for Staples Business Depot as well the sad looks on all of their faces as the days progressed you fools <laughs> Every day closer to back to school, those faces, those frowns got bigger and bigger. I shouldn't even say that because there's younger viewers that watch this channel. I'm so sorry you're going back to school. Let me just tell you, though, being an adult is even worse. You imagine you having to deal with school. Imagine being an adult. Kind of sucks. Anyways, if you guys are interested in subscribing to the Zinini box, maybe perhaps adding this to your 1988 denim jacket with the worn away elbows. Why not? Why not? Hit the www.zaninibox.com or you can click the link down below. And speaking of down below, if you are new to this channel, or hey, let's say you're even a longtime viewer. Why not? You've been around as long as that denim jacket. Very unlikely YouTube didn't even exist back then. Or maybe it did. I don't think it did. Internet was a bare minimum. I think it was just in the inventing stage. But uh, certainly if you've been around for a long period of time and thought, you know what, I thought I subscribed to this guy's channel. Boy, was I ever wrong. Boy, you were ever wrong, sir. Make sure you hit that subscribe button down below, swing on over next door, and turn on that bell notification so that when future videos are coming onto this channel, gosh darn it, you won't be that guy that's going to be forgetting all about it. I'm sometimes that guy. Stay tuned, guys, because we're going to have a look at some more unboxings of various different subscription boxes that can come to your door, your igloo, or far-off castle in the north. That would probably cost a lot of money. 
I'm thinking about it right now. I'd probably somebody would have to go down a very dirty small path, a little dirt path, maybe on a small horse or donkey to deliver that to your door. And the cost of it probably would be a little bit higher. But either way, they'll deliver to your door and uh, yeah, other subscription boxes as well. Just rambling off. Producers are kind of going like this. Just ending it right now. We are going to end things, producer. Gary, I am listening to you. I can see you up there. You're waving away. Yeah, I don't have the mic on, but I can hear you. I can hear, I, I can see what you're doing and I can read your lips. Anyways, we're going to wrap this up. As always, guys, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time. <laughs>